Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking at Pam's Place. I'm Pam and on this episode, we're getting ready to make deep fried whole baby corn. Oh my goodness, they're so cute and they're whole, they're edible, the entire thing, and they are just crunchy and crispy. Mm, I can't wait to taste it with you guys. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, easy, simple, made from scratch, take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. And then just keep hanging around because I have a whole channel full of recipes that'll get you there. Let's get busy. Okay, family, we are back. Let's go over the star of the dish our baby corn. Look at that. Aren't they just so cute and beautiful? Oh my goodness. They are going to be absolutely amazing. Don't forget, I'll have all the exact measurements and everything in the description so you can make it in your kitchen too. You'll need some flour, some corn flour, aka cornstarch, salt, pepper, paprika. I'm using a pack of Sazon. You'll also need some breadcrumbs. I'm using panko breadcrumbs and some Parmesan cheese and a little lemon juice. I think that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and make up our batter first, then get them all coated, head over to the stove so we can fry this baby corn up. Mm -mm. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is make our batter. We are going in with some flour. And you want your batter to be kind of thick, so it'll adhere really well. Our corn flour. I am using a pack of Sazon, as I mentioned. Go ahead and put that in. Salt to taste. So you be the judge as to how much salt you put in. Pepper. Go ahead and stir that up really well. Look at me wasting flour all over the place. Let me grab my towel. Be right back. We are back. I'm going to keep my towel handy because I've been a hot mess lately with wasting stuff. We're going to go in with some paprika. Make sure you stir it all up and also seltzer water, which I did not have out at first, but it will be down in the description. I did not have my water out first, so we're going to go ahead and pour some in here so we can get this mixed up. A little bit more. Okay, and this is the consistency that you want it to be. That's the consistency that you want it to be. Okay, we're going to set this aside, let it soak up some of that liquid, and we're going to go ahead and get our corn prepared. You want to go in with your paprika, sprinkle it liberally all over your corn. Then we're going to go in and squeeze some lemon right on top here. Now, this is where you have to get in with your hands and you want to make sure it's all coated. So make sure it's all rubbed in there. Every piece of corn should be well coated with the paprika and lemon juice. Oh my goodness, this smells amazing. It smells delicious. Oh my goodness. Okay, go ahead and put your oil in your skillet and make sure it is heated to about 350 degrees. It must be heated properly or your corn will not come out crispy. So make sure it, it's nice and hot. Going in with our panko breadcrumbs, we're gonna mix this in with a little of our Parmesan cheese for coating here. Go ahead, make sure there's no lumps in there. Mix this up well. Also to our panko and Parmesan, we're adding some thyme leaves in. That's optional, but I love it in my breading. Okay, guys, I'll see you all over at the stove. Okay, as our corn heats up, our corn, <laughs> as our oil is heating up, we are almost there. The first thing you want to do is take a little bit more of that same cornstarch you had earlier and sprinkle it over your corn. Just a light dusting. You don't want it to be real thick or anything. Just a light dusting of this cornstarch. It's going to help everything kind of adhere. And your corn is wet, so it's going to be a little messy. 
else. But that's okay. It's going to be delicious in the end. And that's what counts. That's the main thing. In the end, we want it to be delicious. Then you want to take one ear. You can take more than one. You want to dip it in your batter. Make sure it's well coated, dripping off any extra lump there. I'm going to get that lump off of there. Make sure the extra drips off and then go ahead and coat it in your breadcrumbs. Let that sit there. Take another one. Dip it in. And you want to just do this until all of your corn is battered and ready to go. Then once your skillet comes up to temp, you are ready. Oh my goodness, this is going to be amazing, amazing, amazing. And let them fry. Don't overcrowd your skillet as always. And it only takes maybe about two or three minutes for them to fry because they are actually fully cooked already. They are looking delicious. Oh my goodness. Look at how golden brown that is. Oh my goodness. Mm, 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 mm. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Go ahead and make sure you have your second batch ready to go. So as you see, they only take a few seconds to cook. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you a close-up before we do our taste test. Look at how crispy they are. Oh, my goodness. And you know I got to go in with a little parsley here. Yes, just a little bit. Okay, all right, let's do our taste test. Mm, okay, mm. guys, look once again. Don't they look amazing? Oh, my goodness. They are crispy and they smell delicious. Oh my goodness. Ooh wee. Now, I'm going to taste this for you guys. But before I do, I just want to say if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today in my kitchen. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. And if you want to get exclusive recipes each month, which one is coming out this week, and notification by email strictly from me every time I upload a video, go over to my website, Cooking at Pam's Place, and sign up for the free email list. It's 100% free. I'm not asking for anything. <laughs> and I'll get you added to the list. Once you do that, you have to go to your email and confirm that you did sign up for the subscription. Okay, now. For most of you all that have been with me, you know I don't bite anything because I'm not supposed to bite in the front of my mouth, but I think I can put this to the side and bite it. What y'all think? Y'all think so? Let's give it a try. If not, I got my knife. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It tastes just like corn and it's crispy, deep fried. You can taste the sazon. Mm, it's seasoned perfectly. I have just enough salt in here. You can even taste the paprika. You can smell the paprika and taste the paprika. Oh my goodness. And if you want to, you can add a little cayenne pepper in here. Just for the heat, that would be amazing. On the breading, you can even taste the parmesan that I put in here everything so it's a little bit cheesy a little bit spicy crunchy crispy salty everything you want oh my goodness in one single bite mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. i don't know if you all can hear the crunch but this corn is crunching mm -mm -mm. see look at the inside see what it looks like on the inside amazingly delicious oh my goodness Thank you all again. Mm, mm, mm. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notification bell, give the video a thumbs up, and let everyone you know, family, friends, and foe, 
that Pam over here at Cooking at Pam's Place is cooking up easy, simple, made from scratch meals that you can make in your kitchen too. Mm, mm, mm. And I will see you next time. The good Lord willing, mm, mm, mm. and the creek don't rise. Mm, mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Delicious. Mm.